My favorite project to this day that I kind of see as my life-changing moment. <laughs> this woman emailed me, she was from somewhere in California. I didn't really ask who the client was or what the event was, but it turns out it was for Google. So I had a mild freak out moment where I'm like, what, Google? And I asked the lady, I'm like, how did you find me? She's like, well, I Googled you. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. My name is Elise Goodhoofd. Goodhoofd is how you pronounce that in Dutch. I am a graphic designer, but also a creative entrepreneur. And the chalk artist. <laughs> Thechalkartist.com. <laughs>
I've worked for myself now for six years, which is crazy to think about because I can remember when I started and being terrified of working for myself and trying to figure out where the next paycheck was coming from. Um, I call myself a creative entrepreneur because I don't want to pigeonhole myself. To me, my creativity and my ideas are always flowing and I want to be open to possibilities of doing multiple different types of work. I think one of my sort of strengths but also one of my weaknesses is that I enjoy doing a lot of different things. Um, but I think I'm slowly figuring out what it is that I, one, enjoy doing, and two, makes me happy, but also brings in money, too. I think after doing it for six years on my own, it, it sort of has built up a confidence in my ability to um, make money, but also just run a business that is somewhat successful. Somewhat. <laughs> I don't think I have a specific goal in terms of where I want to be and I think that's sort of a detriment of my own. I need to start working on goal planning and goal setting. So I'm in the works of planning that. It's easy to get discouraged and recognize that, um, that you don't know all the answers or you don't necessarily know where you're going to be, but by recognizing the things that you're good at and the things that have gotten you to where you are um, is a really strong um, motivator. Yes! Next. I've had a really good support system from my family. Specifically, my dad has been a really good help. I feel bad for him sometimes, so. In, if I had like a plan of where, how things would all work out, um, I think I want to buy my dad a sailboat um, to thank him for all those years of grief. Yeah. What is the future of my business, my life? This is a question that I wish there was like a, you know, a magic. Why did I just do that? It's a magic ball that you can look in and it's like, okay, in 10 years, you're gonna have millions of dollars. You mean a crystal no. ball? Crystal ball, that's what it is, a magic ball. <laughs> um, no, I think the future for me, future for me is unknown. I think with chalk, I find the medium very unthreatening. So the idea that you have a chalkboard, you have your piece of chalk, you can draw as hard as you want, as light as you want, but then if you make a mistake, you can easily rub it off. Just the idea that you can rub it off, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird thought, but um, I don't get threatened by chalk. Whereas if it's like a pencil or a marker on a white surface, I feel like I'm hesitant to really attack the canvas. It's weird, but it works. I think it's really important to understand that not every person in this world has all the answers to everything. And I think that's good, but I think recognizing that you don't have all the answers, but you're looking for them is a really humbling attribute. I kind of, the thing that I like the most about myself <laughs> Um, is that I'm constantly trying to bring color into my life and in my work and whenever people ask me what my favorite color is I never give one answer because I'm obsessed with every single color and I feel like if I picked one then the others would be sad so I think I, I just like my colorful sense of self. Color, right? So a, when I do a lot of typography work I like to find fonts that really speak to me. It's a matter of constantly keeping your eyes open for inspiration because you don't know where you're going to find the inspiration from. And I think it's trying to determine 
what it is specifically that inspires you so that you're constantly moving forward as opposed to making it work, right? I think I constantly strive to um, help people realize that they also could have a creative bone in their body because a lot of people dismiss creativity, their own creativity so easily and saying things like, oh, I'm not creative, oh, I can't do that. And I think it's a big encouragement to people to actually test out your creativity and be able to uh, pick up a pencil and be able, or pick up a paintbrush, whatever it is, whatever medium, and be able to fail until you get to some place that you notice um, that you're improving and that your creativity is something that is useful. <laughs> That's a wrap. What's that? <laughs> catharsis. It's like uh, please define it's, catharsis. It's like uh, yeah, I'm gonna like look this up. What is giving this? them something that emits like how do you spell it? response. Uh, C A T H A R S I S. Cathar catharsis. <laughs> Wait, definition. Where is it? Let's see how close your definition is to that. Catharsis, noun, plural, catharsis. The purging of the emotions or relieving of emotional tensions, especially through certain kinds of art as trage tragedy or music. Hmm. That sounds deep. I'm going to work on the catharsis for people. <laughs>